quick little foray into collecting VHS and media in general. If you follow the channel for a while, you know me that I'm all about being frugal and I don't care about the format. I'll check it out. So I just spent $4.25. Come along with me and see what I bought. All of you people with minimalistic lifestyles, you will not enjoy this. If you hoard media like me, you will enjoy it. So first of all, this one is for a friend of mine. It's seasons one and two, Dinosaurs. And the disc just fell under my seat. Now I gotta reach down there on camera because we're doing it live. Four discs, two per season, dinosaurs in a cool little cardboard slip case. So I got that. I do not know how many seasons are there of, are there of, I can't even talk. Anyway, he's going to have to find the rest of them if there's more than two seasons. Secondly, my kids have never seen this, and I'm going to be reviewing this soon because I remember it as a kid, and I love the original ones with Fred McMurray, but I always have a soft spot in my heart for the dearly departed Robin Williams. Flubber. And this movie came out in... Produced by John Hughes? Screenplay by John Hughes? Even more of a reason to watch it. It came out in the late 90s. And this is a Disney production, as you know. So, wow. So much info just right on the back of the box. I remember this fondly as a kid. I will be reviewing this. Chuck Norris and David Carradine. Video Treasures release. Lone Wolf McQuaid. And this is Orion Pictures Corporation. Rated PG. 1983. 107 minutes long. A lot of fun wall-to-wall -wall action with a hero who's a man of much action, few words, and a certain sense of humor. And if you watched My Good Guys Wear Black, there was this certain comical sense, and Chuck Norris just has this funny way about him. I'm interested to see this one and review it. This is a very early VHS box, a canon film release, another Chuck Norris, Missing in Action 2, The Beginning. This is really early VHS collecting right here. And this one was a rental copy. Be kind, please rewind. This is about lost Vietnam vets. And I don't know when this one came out. I'm guessing early 80s. My friend wanted me to pick him up a copy of this. I may have to watch it and review it before I send it on to him. Crime is a disease, meet the cure. Sylvester Stallone, Stallone the Cobra. And he was telling me this is Adam Carolla's favorite movie. This one came out in 1986, it looks like, and it is 87 minutes long, so a quick watch. Adult Action! Warner Brothers Presents. Here's another early VHS release that I've never heard of, but it's the same director as Deer Hunter. Oh, Michael Cimino, I believe that he played Fredo in The Godfather, because I believe... Oh, 1985? No, he died. I'm sorry. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm not as good with my cinema knowledge as a lot of other people on YouTube, I'm sure. But I like these early VHS boxes. This is some Chinatown underworld. Looks interesting. And it's a really early copy of a VHS from when VHSs were super expensive. Here's another X video rental, Rambo First Blood Part 2, Sylvester Stallone. This is for my buddy. And this one, let's see, nope, no marking is, maybe this isn't it. Well, yeah, it's got to be an X video rental, but it doesn't have any of the labeling on there from it being a rental copy, so I'm confused. Usually it will say a video rental store or there'll be a magnetic strip. Blade Runner. Just the regular, the regular release, not a director's release, 122 minutes, but this is an early copy in 1982, winner of Los Angeles Film Critics Award and three British Academy Awards. Oh, it says, contains never before released versions of graphic violence that were edited out of the theatrical release. I liked the newer version too with him and, um, was it Ryan Gosling? Very good. 
This is for my friend, uh, THX Digitally Remastered, Blues Brothers. That's one of my favorite films. 1979, 1980, I think it came out. One of the greatest chase scenes of all times, in my opinion. Comic, excellent movie. So this is a 1998 VHS copy. Early Jack Nicholson, terrible B-movies, Boris Karloff and Jack Nicholson in The Terror. And I saw a recent interview from like 1981 or 82 where Nicholson said he was embarrassed by these early movies, but everybody that was in the movies still did their best working with what they had. 1963 release. Never heard of it. Man, I got a big pile here. A couple of more. I've never seen this, but I know it's a classic, and I picked this up for my friend, too, and it's still got the shrink wrap on it. 1985, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Commando, CBS Fox. What else do we got? What else do we got? Another one, Rambo Part 3, 1988. I don't think I'll be watching this. I think I'll just send this on to my friend. It doesn't really appeal to me, but whatever. It's all about having a nice collection on the shelf. And then I also have a copy of this for myself, and this is an early copy as well. Predator. I recently watched this for the first time within the last year, and it was really good. Love Carl Weathers. As you remember, I was talking about him. He's in that one... Bronson movie that I recently reviewed. So that's it. That's the uh, pile OBHS for $4.25 with a couple of DVDs thrown in the mix. Until next time, we will see you then.